Hello, welcome to PBA 305 American Public Policy, where public policy comes alive, and yes, where puppies come alive. We do have Dixie and Emmy returning to be with us this week. They're so very happy to see you and have missed you, and they would love to say hi. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, girls. How are y'all doing? We're doing good. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Hope to see y'all very soon. Hope y'all have a great week this week. Okay, hope you're doing well. All right. Okay, girls. Thank you for saying hi. You're so sweet. You're very sweet. Okay. All right. Good girls. Okay. So anyway, we've got another exciting week ahead of us. Dixie and Emmy have decided to start playing with the ball. So hold on one second. Sorry. Here. Take that down. Okay. Uh, sorry, so anyway, uh, this week we're going to be looking at fiscal policy, so we're going to be um, getting into our first quote-unquote policy house where uh, we're going to have uh, work on laying a foundation and a policy uh, and explore the ins and outs uh, from adding on the foundation and, and, and building up to the roof and everything inside and in between. So um, two fundamental pieces of fiscal policy. Okay, so we've got uh, <clears throat> two main tools that government can use to adjust fiscal policy. Okay, the first one being interest rates. The Federal Reserve can raise and decrease interest rates. So what, are, what is interest rate? That's the price of money that people pay in order to obtain cash. Okay, that's a simplistic consolidation, but it's it's basically the price of money and businesses, consumers, uh, government entities that borrow money from us. That's the price of money that is is an interest rate. So basically, right now, for example, the Federal Reserve just raised their benchmark interest rate in this month in uh, in September. I guess now it's October, but just just in the previous month of September, they raised the benchmark interest rate one quarter point, so 0.25 percent. And so, in result, banks across the country are going to raise their interest rates that they're charging generally on uh, a quarter point, so 0.25 percent. So, for example, Wall Street Journal Prime right now, or previously, was five percent. Now it's 5.25%. So when somebody goes out to buy a house or to buy a car or to buy um, uh, to get a loan, a student loan perhaps, um, that interest rate is going to be, if it's priced according to Wall Street Journal Prime, is going to be priced, say it's a half percent above Wall Street Journal Prime, it'll be priced Wall Street Journal Prime plus one half or 5.25 plus a half percent, so 5.75 percent. So that's how that works. So uh, basically they're going to be in a, uh, we are in a rising rate environment right now. The reason is because the economy is doing exceptionally well right now. It's doing, it's very strong. The uh, Federal Reserve recognizes that and they want it to cool down a little bit. And so they're raising the rates and raising the price of money so that people may not borrow so much money and maybe won't be putting so much money into the economy uh, and maybe slowing down the, uh, the economy. So, uh, or at least putting the brakes on a little bit so it's not running so hot. Okay, I think everybody wants the economy to be doing well, but they also don't want it to run out of control either. So that, so the, Interest rates are one tool to help manage uh, the economy. The second one is taxes. Okay, so the the government can raise and lower taxes with the intent of raising revenue or allowing businesses or consumers to have more money in their pockets instead of the government having money uh, to fund their programs. Okay. So that's another tool that the government has control of, and the legislature has the authority to control uh, taxes and the level of taxes. 
and the, uh, the Federal Reserve has the authority to, to raise interest rates. And so those are the two main policy tools. And then when we're setting economic policy as a country, um, they, they are looking at, at all sorts of different sophisticated models, and we'll go through some of those models this week, and, and theories, and they, they look at the history of our country, and they look at the history of the economy, and the way things have gone, and they'll try to guide and control uh, the way the economy is moving through these main policy tools. So anyway, I just wanted to explain that to you guys and uh, let Dixie and Emmy say hi to you. I did read a lot of your uh, uh, paper topics this week. They all look really cool. I'm looking forward to working with you on them. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions or need anything, and uh, hope you all have a great week. All right, thanks a lot.